minutes Give a fuck what you think Came to rage and pillage Oh hell yeah motherfuckers Rage and Pillage Podcast We're fucking back It's Tuesday Ratatata. Boom We got a good one We got a return Of a guy who got fucked over last time and I gotta, I gotta apologize publicly for that shit. So Doug Euro's back. What's up, brother? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> From the uh, No Offense with Doug Euro podcast, I'm petitioning to get that back on the air, bro. Um, and we got a uh, a new arrival to the show. We've been trying to get this guy on for a minute. Um, Gio what's Perez up? is here from the On the Gate podcast. What's up, man? What's going on, man? How you guys doing? Doing fucking great. Doing fucking great. Oh, yeah. Right before you right before you jumped on, Doug, I was trying to talk to Gio about did you ever do a power hour when you were a teen? Yeah, like, with the shot glasses and the beers and yeah. shit like that. You get fucked up pretty bad, huh? In an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like it because they're little shot glasses of beer. And then you're like about fifty of you those know, shots in, foot thirty, foot you're just you you're Fuck. Yeah, it's it's. I'm trying to figure out how I could do this on the show upcoming. I just got to plan it with somebody. Just set a timer and shit. Fucking. I think we yeah, can make how that. long is the show? Hour and a half, ninety minutes. So yeah. So then the whole fucking show, every minute, you just because there's a there's actually a timer right there that I could see. Oh, you act like yeah, I'm right gonna. You, you act like I'm gonna. Swing. You act like I'm gonna yeah. look at that shit. <laughs> There you go. And every time there's a fucking new minute, then you take another fucking shot. All right. You're the clock guy. All right, Gio, it's me and you. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> um, hey, I got to fucking drive back into the city after this for a fucking 10 o'clock spot. Where are you performing? Uh, oh, this real, real big fucking place. Like, it, it's a real good place. For, like, it, it's this famous joint. Uh, it's called the Village Lantern. Hell yeah, 3,000 people. <laughs> easily 3,000 people. The comedy shop. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the new name it's called now. Big place. <laughs> Man, I keep seeing Making everybody. Making moves in their career. Is that the one with the ah, purple background good. on the stage? Is that the one What's with the, the purple neons on the stage in the background? Fuck. Yeah. Is yeah, that, is that the one? back there too. Okay, I've, I've seen a lot of people performing there. Is that, uh, what's yeah, his name? It looks, like, yeah, set it, for, it looks like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Jesus <laughs> grabbing the fucking crystals out of the fucking skull. You need to show up with a little Asian boy. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, last time we did a show there, this stupid fucking Asian kid were on stage <laughs> and I, I talked to him and he just looks at me and he goes, he goes, yeah, we're on their age. And he takes a drink. I go, dude, shut the fuck up. I go, don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy. Don't Man, spit yeah, just shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. he's, he probably, he's probably safe, dude. Y'all got the whole stop Asian hate thing going on up there. He can probably get away with just about yeah. anything he wants, huh? Yeah, he probably it, could. Uh, probably. In, in Houston, Except- they, they're only allowed in one area. So <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Chinatown. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, I was in Queens game. a few weeks ago. A lot of. <laughs> I was in Queens a few weeks ago. Hold on, hold, uh, hold on. Pause for just a second. Hey, Gio, what was in that little bag? What you got there, bro? No, it's not uh, a bag. No, oh, uh, it's a little sticker. <laughs> oh, okay. Speaking I, of the podcast. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw a little Ziploc. I was like, hey. Nah, <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just let. I saw time, that. But... I was like, ah, whatever. I was like, fucking <laughs> give me a care package. Let's go. Fuck you yeah. see Gio's address on the fucking background. <laughs> <behind him. laughs> Thirty-two. Speaking of, don't don't tell on yourself. Shit. <laughs> it was just like a big kilo of coke coming. Yeah. Through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we gotta That's stop early. Most. I gotta call. I gotta call my guy. I'm out of here. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just had to take a shit right now. Yeah. yeah. Got bubble guts. <laughs> Dog, I've, I've, dude, that was the worst, man. Like, dude, there was a time where New Jersey Coke was so bad. Your first fucking rip, your first fucking line, and you were right into the fucking toilet, just shitting your goddamn brains yeah. out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Dog, I, I have a story. Yeah, I have a story. It's a straight baby lax. It it's straight baby lax. Yeah, there was, was a yeah, like the club coke. Like I was like I, I used to go to shitty clubs in Jersey, and that's what would happen. You would do that first line of coke, and like you said, Gio, like fucking pure baby lax. You could even taste it and smell it, and it <laughs> just shitting the whole fucking night, jonesing for more, trying to wipe your ass with the shakes. Did. 
anytime, anytime you ever get a, if it's, if it's an eight ball for a hundred bucks, don't buy it. Cause, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I fucking, I, t- oh, I hit a line. Dude, I, didn't, for. I didn't even make it to the, I didn't even make it. I didn't get my pants down, dude. I sprayed the back of the toilet lid. It was just fucking horrible, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, note to self, don't, don't buy Coke from Albanians. <laughs> yeah. You guys get them from Dominicans. Well, it's all Mexicans yeah. here, dude. getting Coke from Dominicans, you're getting jerk. Well, I mean, yeah, dude, exactly. if, you're, if you're getting Coke from a dude that kind of looks like a white guy, but there's a little something off about him, then yeah, that's an Albanian. Don't yeah. get it from that guy. I, yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah. I got to assume, I mean, how many assholes has your Coke been in But by the time it gets to New York? I get like one asshole no, coke here. An asshole. I get one asshole coke uh, here. That, that's more. That's more like jail. That's more like jail. Okay. It's it, it, that. That's all. All that stuff comes like compacted in cars and like some stash boxes, or some shit. Oh, uh, okay. Because how much? How much coke can you really hold in somebody's asshole? That's a lot of people that you got to use to transport. I yeah. mean. <laughs> I don't. That's not going to be a new game a, on the. That can't the be a new game on the show. Line of people, man. <laughs> well, yeah. y'all, y'all, remember, y'all remember that fucking movie? What, the was, average ass, average ass holds about what? Maybe uh, let's say about uh, seventy-five grams. We're about to find out. You know, yeah. you're gonna need. You're gonna need. Yeah, let's let's Google it. <laughs> che- What's in the Chelsea, volume? It's probably about nine or ten. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, in Chelsea, they could probably feel like a whole kilo. Okay, this is <laughs> the popular go. popular science. How much how much cocaine and can you pack in? Square form too. It's in brick form. They just put it right in the square. Hey, you gotta you gotta make it at least cock like. Um. <laughs> and then what's great about that is that they all go into competition. Who can fit more up their ass? They're, they're yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, see. Put let's it see. On Pornhub too to make extra money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not very much. Nah, that's not a lot. Hold on, that's not a lot. Yeah. So I mean, that's a lot in jail. But the thing is, you could fit a couple of those. You know what I mean? It'll just kind of, you know, through your digestive digestive tract, you could fit a, a few Ooh. of those. So, pe- so, so people have been found with five pounds inside their body. Whoa! That, five that's, pounds of coke in their fucking body. Yeah. So two hundred of these little so that's packs. Two and a half. That's two and a half keys. That's, that's quite a bit, Christ. dog. That's more than I would have thought. Oh, no, that's actually, that's two keys, actually. That's exactly, a, a key is like two and a half pounds. Yeah, so. Wait, but where is it? Is it all up their ass or is it like in like, like cuts in their body? I've seen that before where they make like. They probably, they sw- they pro- I think they swallow those. They probably fuckers. just swallow all those things. Yeah, all those little capsules, they'll just swallow yeah, a bunch yeah. of those. Because you can come back. Like, shit. When, when I used to get locked up, I, I would go in with like an ounce <laughs> of weed that I'd swallow but I would have to like coffee grind the weed, take all the stems mm-hmm. out, and then just pack them into like little water balloons, and then make them like M M&M and M size, and just eat them. Yeah, that, you double, you double wrap them, you put them in a balloon, you put them in two balloons, you tie it up, you eat them, and then you take a bunch of matches. So you take uh, a whole book of matches, you'll cut the matches in half, then you'll put one, bal- you'll fit those in a balloon, and then you take the striker off. And you wrap mm. the uh, you wrap the striker around the matches and throw that in with the balloon, wow. and then you'll just that put the strike. You lay the striker nuts. out and just take a little match like this and just like strike it across, and then you'll have like a napkin or like a toilet paper that you'll yeah. take and they'll just roll it up like this, and then they'll just put all this with Vaseline and then it'll just burn slow, and then you just keep that on so you don't have to keep wasting matches, and you'll just keep a wick on. So then people could just keep lighting cigarettes or joints with that. How you get it? How do you wow. get it out? How do you get it out though, bro? Are you shitting it out or are you puking it out? No, 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 no. You put so when you get in and uh, you take a shit, you just take a piece of garbage bag and you lay it on top of the toilet. Yeah. And you shit in a garbage bag and then you get like a uh they usually give the guy who feeds the truck like plastic ba- uh plastic uh those uh gloves. Yeah. And then you just go through the shit. Just take all the balloons out, wash them off, take what you need, and then just fucking put the rest back. Desperate times. That is God fucking damn. fascinating. God That's damn. fucking amazing. Then, Skittle size little fucking shit pellets. <laughs> peanut, that is peanut, peanut M M&M. M. I should have said more, more like peanut M M&M and M size. No shit. So you just yeah, I can see that more. M&M yeah. Size. And then you'll eat it. So like yeah. this is like. Like when you knew you was turning yourself in to do time, so you got like mm. you was sent, you was going in to get sent, you was you was getting sentenced from the street, 
So you're like, all right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to just go loaded. You're going with like three plain T-shirts, one on top of the other, uh, a crew neck on top of that, fucking long johns, basketball shorts, five pairs of boxers, <laughs> five fucking Is that like dress when I go hunting to stay warm? Yeah. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Dressing like a homeless guy in New York City. Just because like you want, you can't, it takes some time to get those clothes through visits and like commissary. Uh, so you yeah. just figure out like a shortcut, like, oh, I got all this. Like the cops see it, they make you take it all off, put it all back on, but they, it's all allowed. Oh, good. Uh, how how yeah, much? That would be a fucking pain in the ass. Stay in like the same pair of clothes and fucking jail for days in yeah. and off. Fuck, man, I'm a man. real piece of shit. I'll wear the same shit all goddamn weekend, dude. And just shower before I got to go to work <laughs> I on think Monday. You're wearing that bandana still from the last time I was. Hell there. yeah, bro! It's 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 pretty much glued to my head now, bro. Fuck yeah. <laughs> how much time did you spend in jail? Uh, total four. It was just four. I never, I never made the prison. It was, it was just all county, and then like the longest time was I did two county back to back bullets. So it was just like a total of two oh. years. Okay, and that was okay. like the last one. What's the jerking off like in jail? Quiet. Terrible. Terrible. It's very uh, like, and it depends on where you're at. Because like, if you're in a like a minimum security dorm, you're like in an open gym kind of. With like no. 60 people, a yeah. bunch I've, of Okay, beds. I've seen that. I've seen that, yeah. So then, and then like, you could probably like go to the bathroom like late at night when everybody's sleeping and then maybe like go in the toilet stall and just hope not, <laughs> nobody walks in. But you're like, you're in stealth mode. You're jerking off in stealth mode. Yeah, just those and slow then, strokes. Or, <laughs> that's yeah. if you want, that's if you want, you know, some, some aid and stuff if you want a magazine. But yeah. if not, you're just going to have to do it in the shower when you're by yourself. Because they have single God man, damn. in jail, they have single man showers. Oh, that's nice. So that's, okay, you know, you just got to use your imagination at that point. So yeah. let me ask you this: Were you more excited to get home and jerk off, like in peace, or have sex? Oh, sex, of course, man. It was just, <laughs> nah, once I, I got my own cell, I eventually went to yeah. the working dorm. I had my own cell. I got the, you know, it, it was kind of peaceful, but you was just like, you was just like uh, almost going at it on a timer. Because <laughs> one, you're only in your cell during the count, right? So, like, you go in when you lock in at the 2.30 count, and there's the 8.30 count. And then when you go to lock in at 10.30, and there's another count. So then uh, when you lock in, um, especially the 2.30 count, there's a shift change. So they'll do the, the, <laughs> the shift leaving. They'll do a count. They'll walk through. And then the next shift comes and they'll walk through. <laughs> so once you know the second shift walk through, you're like, oh, boom, I got 15 minutes. Just paint the walls. That's God fucking damn. amazing, man. That's what, yeah. like, you could time your jerking off by the fucking footsteps on the goddamn floor. <laughs> and those CEOs you know wore, like, nice shoes. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Now, 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 now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I when I came home, I only jerked off around two thirty and eight thirty. <laughs> it's just habit at this point for no reason. <laughs> I'll be at work and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna have to go into the family bathroom in the handicapped bathroom <laughs> and rub one out right before I leave. I don't know why I keep ordering lunch. It's a fucking grilled cheese. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, like I'm some people get on I don't schedule. Have to do this. <laughs> Just a yeah, you were a regular masturbator. That's amazing. That's yeah, fucking. Yeah. That's hilarious. That. <laughs> yeah, that, it, and yeah. I almost got called. I almost got called by a female guard once because she was new, and yeah. I guess she did a miscount, right? So I seen like she was she was coming in for the overnight shift. Like this was like we locked in for the night, and she she was she was attractive too. So that would have like I would have got oh. fucked up if I would have got caught. Because they would have thought I was jerking off to her. So uh, <laughs> the, the, the shift leaving goes by. She goes by. And I already had all my shit set up. So I had my bed, like, made. And I opened up. I had, two, I had three different magazines opened up to my, <laughs> my favorite parts. The, the good and ones. I had it. <laughs> if you blink your so eyes, it's like it a movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, then, and then I had... Uh, and then I had like my, my pants to like uh like right above my knees. <laughs> and and I'm just kind of looking to the side. And then as soon as like she went for the set, like she did her count, I'm like, all right, I got 15 minutes. So I'm getting into it, 
And all of a sudden, I just see just a flash go by in front of my door, just go vroom. And then like my heart dropped instantly, you know, <laughs> covered, covered my bed. Cause I had, I literally, all I had to do was just throw the sheets over whoop, and then just put my pants up to like my waist. So like my butt cheeks was out and I just laid <laughs> across my bed yeah. sitting there like this. When she came back and she, cause she did, she did like a double look. She just popped her head back. And then she goes like, are you okay? And I was just like, yeah, yeah no, I'm just, just thinking. See, here's, and here's my she problem. Went back and I was just like, so close. <laughs> Dude, you I'd, see a mirror pop out of the fucking jail cell <laughs> just to catch a glimpse of her ass. Yes. The mirror is made out of tinfoil for pieces of gum. <laughs> Polished tinfoil? Fucking. <laughs> 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 just a broken piece of glass taped to a newspaper that's rolled up. <laughs> Dude, I know me, bro. Look, I can see her ankles. She's wearing low socks today. Yeah. After a certain amount of time, I would have to hit on that bitch. There's no doubt. Like, surely. You know that's gotta be oh, like we all pretty. Did. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Like, even if she's an ugly fucking twat, oh, well, like, yeah, you show me still a- hit on her, yeah. Anything warm at that point, bro. Fucking- yeah, because you hear those stories, like, uh, like I remember it was, like, years ago, those two guys escaped from prison, and there was a girl that helped them. And oh, yeah. They sh- and yeah. They- yeah, yeah, she was down, was down bro, during that. Yeah. I was, oh, you I were was in- literally locked up. We were cheering for those guys. We were rooting for them. Every day that they were just like, these guys are still at large. You just hear the whole dorm, 60 people go, yeah! <laughs> but they, dude, dude, was rooting for them. They just, showed the girl that helped them, and she she said that, like, they oh. were fucking, like, the, and, dude, she was a fucking dog. But then yeah, you got to realize that. Right? <laughs> she bitch had a mullet, just I a think. a regular bone sleeve. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Yo, I'm gonna grab Slam another drink and take a piss real quick. But yeah. I, can, I can hear you guys. I'll be bet, right back. Bet. Yeah, dude. Fuck it. Yeah, that bitch had a mullet. She was fucking all of 300 pounds. Dude, she was a <laughs> fat fucking slob with a mole on her fucking face. She looked like Miss Trunchbull. The skin tags on her twat, I'm sure. Yeah, Fuck it. <laughs> exactly. She was fucking hideous. But then again, you got to think like you're so deprived in jail that it's like. Sign you know, me the fuck up. Pulse. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's I'm like jumping on that, that pussy like it's a grenade and I'm trying to save my best friend. It's like, you know, <laughs> just like. Yeah, it's either it's either her or Martine with the fucking Kool-Aid on his lips and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, 50-50 at that point. She wasn't that great looking. It's fucking, they're all girls in the dark, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> As long as the, as long as it's lights out at eight o'clock, you can't really tell. Uh, eight fifteen when she Gio's has a big done. Fat labia <laughs> that's hitting you in the fucking thigh. <laughs> just both labias just slamming you like like fucking knockers <laughs> on a desk. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> like those stress toys when the balls hit it. Yeah, knockers on the desk. Yeah, I'm an asshole. I don't know why I just repeated that. Yeah, it's, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I got delayed there. For, Dude. I I. Dude, that like has to be one of the most like fair. Like, uh, uh, my friend was in fucking county in Essex County, and he came out and he made uh, when he came out, that's when we became friends. And he made me this fucking thing that they would only make in prison. It was a Cinnabon, like one of them little Debbie Cinnabons, yeah, with like peanut butter. Coffee grinds and I think chocolate syrup. It was fucking fantastic. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've talked about this before. Where it's just like they'll take like a bunch of little Debbie snacks and like candies, like Snickers, M and M's, and they'll just mix it all together and make a cake. So like they'll take that the, is like a coffee amazing. cake. So they'll take like two coffee cakes, take the like the the cinnamon and the the topping off, and they'll just yeah. take like the cake part. And uh, they'll mush it with milk and just kind of like mush it all together and then make it into almost like this like cake paste. And yeah. they'll, uh, they'll melt the Snickers bar under hot water in the canister. And the same thing with, with uh, M&M's. And then they'll take um, uh, the ring ding, uh, the soft part, mix that in with the chocolate part, take the cream filling off. The, the chocolate layer, they're, they're, they're basically deconstructing all these little cakes <laughs> and then wild. just making that a different topic. <laughs> and then, like, they'll use, like, the like the crunched up, like, M&Ms on, like, as toppings, and then they'll crunch up peanuts. That's fucking that on top. amazing. 
Yeah, and it's just like the best thing you've ever tasted. Have, okay, have dude, you? Have, has anybody made a YouTube video like making any of these fucking prison desserts? Has there's a few that? dudes. Yeah, yeah. There's a few there's dudes. A, that there's make a spreads. Filipino guy who does does a lot of these uh, little cooking th- cooking videos. It's it's it always most I of those videos start off shot. with crushed up Doritos. Most of them. And ramen, yeah, and ramen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ram, ramen is a, ramen is in like almost everything. Fucking people, I've seen people take ramen and just put water in the bag, let it like get soft a little bit, and then use like you know how it's like two pieces that you can kind of split. Yeah, and then they'll yeah. just put peanut butter on one side, jelly on the other side, and eat it like a sandwich. I'm not mad. At wow. y- y- y'all are talking to a fat guy here. I'm really de- ready to try all this shit. Yeah, okay. You're gonna try that. <laughs> so I want to try it all. Maybe I smoke pot only once a week because I get too fucking fat whenever I get fucking high. I want to try all yeah. these fucking prison recipes while I'm fucking stoned. I gotta so, well, give I mean, these a shot. I'm, I gotta find them. I'm gonna find this guy on Facebook because he makes a lot. Like he's made nachos. He's made like uh, wait, nachos was one. But the thing is, like, where I was, you had very limited amount of things that they, they gave you on commissary. Okay. So, like, I think you had, like, Lay's chips. You didn't have Doritos. You only had one type of ramen. Ah. Uh, you had, like, this cook-up cook, cook up rice, uh, Slim Jim, uh, Jimmy Dean summer sausage, uh, those, like, uh, vacuum seal pack the tuna, vacuum seal pack the Jack Mac, and uh, I think sunflower seeds. It's like very, very, very limited. Yeah, you know, that fucking county, they don't have as big of a budget as like a federal lockup yeah. or some bullshit or a state. Y'all ever fuck God around on TikTok? Unless you're in Rikers. Y'all ever fuck around on TikTok? Yeah. Have, you ever, have y'all ever come across prison TikTok? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, and I it's come just, a lot. Dude, it's just dudes making yeah. wild shit. They've, they're hooking up the fucking the receptacle with electric uh, with the, like electric wires in the water to boil it and shit like that. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, really? Yeah, it's wild, dude. Yeah. Like the ingenuity is there, bro. It's fucking like, crazy. Like even the, even the county, them. like the shit they were using to like make fires. Like I've seen people uh, light a wick, like I said, one of these. Yeah. With mm-hmm. glasses. They'll take somebody's glasses and they'll sit in the yard and they'll just be holding it <laughs> on the edge of the, the paper and they'll get it. Some, day, some days it's hot enough or like some days the sun is like there's no overcast or whatever, there's no clouds, and it'll just burn right through. And then some days it'll just be there for hours, like almost a whole yard time and not light it. No oh, shit. Dude, that Inside, fuck, you're like take- you're like brought back to caveman days when you're in prison. <laughs> like you're making fires yeah. out of fucking that's fucking amazing. It sounds like autism, but, dude. Uh, just uh, sitting there just forever. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just pure oh, autism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like every really comedian not making eye contact on stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm really yeah. into trains and so, lighting paper on fire. Fucking. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> All right. No, there's a, so, like, if you, take, uh, if you take the lead off a pencil, you take the lead off and you put it in, a, in like, a toilet paper and then you, like, kind of wrap it up like this, make it to where it's just in the center. And then they'll take um, either like a paper clip and then they'll just stretch it out and make it like into a prong. And then they'll put the, like the prong in between the papers and you plug it into an outlet and it sparks a fire. Like just it being in between the lead, it causes a fire. Like it just, you just see an explosion and it goes pop. And it just causes, wow. it, it makes this, it lights this part no in the shit. center on fire where the lead is. Yeah. God damn. Holy that's, shit. That's I almost want to try that in my apartment right now. Do it. See Do it on the show. Again. It's great for ratings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we've set the we've set the breakers off before. Nice. Right? In, in the jail where like the TV goes off and then we get caught right there. Uh there's this other one uh where they use uh you got you see how you guys are talking about like the aluminum foil? They'll take the aluminum foil off of uh off of a lightsaber packet. Yeah. And they'll they'll lay it out flat. They'll take the TV, the the TV uh, batteries, the TV remote batteries, yeah, and steel wool. If they could get steel wool from the <laughs> kitchen, like the SOS Brillo pads, and they'll stretch out the the steel wool into two little pieces, put them negative and positive on each battery, lay them on top of the of the tin foil, and when the steel wool touches, it creates a little friction, and then you put the wick on it and it lights the wick on fire we, we did some Jesus shit like that Christ. if you like the the gum wrapper that's the, something the you can try later 
the the foil gum yeah, wrapper. I definitely get a different shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could just use any aluminum foil. Just it's like, like even foil, you're chewing like, gum right now, right? You got that little that little gum wrapper yeah. foil. Put that on top of yeah. a, a, a what do they call well, it? The paper now. A D battery foil for gum now. Oh no, shit! Well, the D battery you can right. put that across the top right there, and it'll fucking catch fire. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can still do it with one battery as long as it can reach. Yeah. You, yeah, I think that's it's why just a negative positive. And yeah, D wall. battery. Yeah. Is, am I thinking of the right thing? The yeah. D battery with the two things on top? No, that's, oh, that's, a, nine a, that's a nine volt. God that's damn it. Okay, volt. see, I'm retarded. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going back to uh, these fucking Dude, whores. Fuck you in a loan out in the woods, man. They could do a loan out in a fucking prison somewhere by yourself. <laughs> the hell would fucking. Yeah. Did y'all see Dude, this shit? Naked wilderness. and afraid in prison. What's that? From you March. <laughs> exactly. Because you could overhook us with inmates. Now, yeah, check, bro, check this out. Now, 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 I guarantee you didn't have any that look like this, bro. That one's okay. That's a prison 10. Oh, my Ooh, God. Dog. dog. <laughs> bro, wow. all these are fucking bad, great in prison, bro. <laughs> Just like. Yeah, those, I, are, those are prison. Yeah, you right see that there. blonde yeah. hair wrapped around your wrist in prison? You're fucking coming instantly. Dog. This one right here is, yeah. That one's good to go outside. That one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Yeah, Eight, that's definitely a prison. 18, 18, she was fucking the inmates this year? Yeah. Time? All three of the. Well, oh, it says there's 18 of these whores doing it, so. She, she, was, she was a cell favorite. Oh, for sure, dude. And what, dude, what happens? Wow. You, what happens if you get pregnant, bro? That's the worst. That's the worst. I would do it if I was in jail. You're getting the no child support. Prison guard, I'm not pulling out. What are you nuts? There's no child support. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I'm not pulling out. I'm leaving it in. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm in dude, jail. For sure. Good luck trying to explain to everybody where that kid came from. <laughs> yeah. Try, yeah. T- tell my parole officer. T- tell the parole board to get me out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, you yeah. seen about Probably those. Pull uh, out and shave off a couple of years. Yeah. yeah, you seen those uh, the the trans inmates that were getting guards pregnant? There was like trans inmates that was at an all female. No, there was trans inmates that was at an all female prison, and they got uh, other inmates pregnant. All Get right. the fuck out of here! Yeah, it was in the news. There's articles about that. And oh, if yeah. you look at if you look at the trans woman, <laughs> it literally looks like a guy that just grew out his hair. Like he did. <laughs> <laughs> It oh looks my like God. a guy from Green Mile with a wig. This rules. Okay. Jesus Jeez. Christ. Yeah, I'm pulling it up. Yeah. Let's see this fucking monster. <laughs> this fucking abomination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? So that's yeah. great. 27 yeah. who impregnated two women. I mean, okay, so <laughs> that's that's a 10, I guess, if you're in a women's prison, right? No, that's that's like a six in a women's prison. Okay, uh, dicks, well, I mean, a dick's a dick, right? They don't, yeah, <laughs> they're trying to find some. Oh, 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 for the women. Yeah. For the women. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're just looking for oh. any. That just looks like a fella. I don't know what the fuck to say about that, guys. I, <laughs> yeah, that just looks like a dude with fat little pudgy tits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even think he had. Like, I don't even think he was like doing hormone growth, like any of that stuff. You see that? Maybe no. if he looked like that, I could believe it. That's that's the foster mother. That's his mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, Does that say cuckoo? Yeah, so convicted double murderer Latonia oh. Bellamy uh, is one of two female prisoners minor impregnated. The baby is due in the fall. Oh yeah! Wow, he's yeah, keeping it. Holy pregnant. shit! For sure, don't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that's with crazy. A rap how a murderer? Up, bless him. It's it's fucked up how a murderer won't get an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. It's it's double, like, yeah, oh, it's, yeah, she has morals somewhere. All of a sudden, it's, it's double like, homicide, no, bro. The baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm not gonna kill you if you don't have a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's just a clump of cells, bro. <laughs> yeah, if you see your daddy, I thought it was a woman until she pulls out a clip. <laughs> That's just a really big clit. Yep. Just sucking on that yeah. clip. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> That's fucking... <laughs> But is he, that used to be like the fear of going to jail was like, oh, you're going to get raped here with all these dudes. Now I could just pretend I'm a trans fucking woman and I could go to a female prison. <laughs> just go to a building of whores, dude. Just a fucking. Oh, God. Dude, that would be great. This is why the and terrorists hate us. Too. This is why the terrorists hate us, dude. <laughs> we could fucking yeah. just. <laughs> yeah. If I ever commit a crime, I'm going to run. I'm going to go dress like a girl and then turn myself in. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For like, sure. Yo, Gio's wanted. I'm like, no, Giovanna. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just slap a little. Why do you keep calling me Giovanni? Giovanni's dead. That's that's my dead name. <laughs> ma'am. How dare you, dead sir? Name. My name's Ma'am. Yeah. It's Ma'am. Ma'am. Why yeah. do you keep saying sir? <laughs> Excuse me. It's ma'am, it's miss, okay? And I don't appreciate you patting me down between my vagina and balls. Yeah, excuse me. Have y'all ever had the excuse pat me. down? Yeah, Have y'all ever foot. had the TSA pat down? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've I've always bypassed. I it. had the fucking uh, FBI pat down. Oh, you had the real deal where they lick their fingers first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God Just damn. Just here behind you, spread them. <laughs> they yeah, spit yeah. On, yeah, they spit on their fingers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God damn. So, okay. Going into jail what's the what's step one is is it that fucking spray you down and fucking spread your asshole type of thing or? nah nah that that does exist I, I uh my my cousin got arrested for like a traffic ticket what? it was like a bench <laughs> warrant it, it, it was wow. yeah, it was like a bench warrant it was a bench warrant for a traffic ticket and they came and got him and they said they did that shit then they, they they said they stripped him down butt naked they hit him with some powder and they sprayed him down and uh, then gave him some like jail clothes, and I was like, "Wait, just for court? That's crazy! Like, Holy shit! Like, just court? Like, cause in in out here, like you don't get like a shower until you get to your dorm. No shit. Jeez. Like, not even like going into the jail. Like, sometimes like you get to reception after like twenty four hours. So you just smelling. You got the swamp ass. You got it all. Yeah." Bro, everybody. And you think about it. So it's mostly it's like crackheads and homeless people getting arrested. Oh. I mean, okay. So I didn't you know, even think about okay, that. Okay, I've been in a holding cell, so I understand that. But that's as far yeah. as I've ever gone is just a fucking holding cell. And nobody shits in that toilet. You fucking hold it. Like fucking, I saw one guy go to shit. I've, I've, seen, a, I've seen a few people do it and uh, going hmm. to court. It turned into a fight in the little room. Fucking this Hispanic dude was like, yeah. fuck you, motherfucker. This, this fucking white guy took his shit in the toilet. It became a thing. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I didn't even think about like the crackheads and the fucking homeless dudes you're locked up in there with. That is I mean, you'll be it. handcuffed. And you can't too, shower. Oh, I didn't think God. about that. Yeah. Being hooked up with yeah. them. <laughs> On a chain game. Oh, I'd be so fucking pissed to be like, God, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You see those yeah. fucking dirty black fingernails touching your hand? Like, God, fuck this shit and get fuck away from me. <laughs> just, you just you're addicted now, motherfucker. Like stale, sweaty <laughs> jeans and shit. Oh, oh yeah. God. It just smells like a gym bag. Yo, that's what, yeah. that's what jail, jail smells like a dirty gym bag. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the only thing I can equate that to is, like you said, the gym bag. But you ever walk into like a real seedy shithole strip club and oh. that's what it smells like? <laughs> that's sweat, what the woman's dorm right smells like. Oh, I, oh God. I had to bring in oh, when I worked in the kitchen back in I think this was uh, 2006, um, and I, I was like bring I would bring like the food carts or the juice carts into the women's dorm, like into the Sally Port. So like obviously there's a gate in between us, but like I, I'll be inside the dorm, and as soon as I walked in there, bro, it smelled like like feet and oh. oh, that's oh, the God. whole dorm. <laughs> The smell like 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 dried up blood and dirty feet. Oh, bad! Just, and, and like just rashy, dirty feet was, and loose change. It's a pocket full yeah, of that change. Part, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Dude, yeah. It's like we said. You're in there long enough. I could bypass feet and period blood. I mean, I've done that on the outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've all we've all we've all oh, fought yeah. through that one. 
Oh, trust me. I only thought I only thought it was bad in in retrospect. In the moment, I was just happy to be in there and looking at all of them. I was like, "I fuck all you crazy bitches, bro. <laughs> Let me loose in here, bro. I'll, I'll lick all your dirty, dried up blood pussies right now." How's this bitch got three C section scores? Forget. <laughs> yeah, like, yo, you're gonna have to fuck the dirtiest one here, Gio. I'm like, yo, it's been like 12 months. Let's go. Like, yeah, you know, like like bring the girl over with the rusted vagina. I'll yeah. fuck it. I'll deal with that. <laughs> half cornrows, half. Of them are out. Fucking let's go. Yeah. 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 Hair got braided nine months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Her, pu- yeah. her pubes are the same way. It's just half braided. <laughs> have y'all seen that shit where bitches are braiding their pubes? Have y'all seen that? <laughs> Dog, this Wait, is that's real girls yeah. are braiding their fucking snatch hair. Hold on, hold on, sure. bro. They grow that shit Get the out. Fuck out of here. This better not be no AI shit you seen, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> this is some AI shit. <laughs> Fucking. This is, uh, yeah. This is a thing. <laughs> what the fuck oh. is that? <laughs> <laughs> fuck? Orange is the new black? It's like Jack Sparrow beard. Where the fuck? Yeah. Where did he, oh, oh my, I don't even know how we ended up on this it fucking looks like, guy. It's funny how it looks like a squid. <laughs> Yeah, it really that probably smells like that too. There's gotta yeah, there's look, gotta be more. Like Yo, that's hilarious. Those those are those are that is fucking gross, man. Some of these are Merkins. A Merka? A Merkin? Yeah, yeah, it's the fake it's what they throw in Merkin, mov- Merkin, for Merkin, movies. Yeah. Or bitches that got that alopecia on their pussy. Fucking No, but that's <laughs> also supposedly like Jewish women wear that. Yeah, you're right. Because you're like, right. You know how they're supposed what to the cover fuck? their hair and their I know that's fake, but goddamn, that's that's a dirty bitch. Yeah, okay. that, was, that is nasty. <laughs> yeah, was well, that was that's the whole thing, right? Is like they gotta they gotta keep their shit. I, I'm not Jewish. I don't fucking know. Can you tell I'm not Jewish? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. they, they gotta yeah they gotta cover their shit up. <laughs> I, I you had to squint my eyes. I'm like, hold on, let me see. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's the beard, right? It's the blonde beard that gives it the away. Nose isn't poking through the fucking microphone. Speaking of noses. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? You ready for this? Yeah. All right. All right. That that goddamn you're great at this, Doug, with the perfect fucking segue. So let me share the screen. <laughs> so men with larger noses have bigger penises, according to a new study. All oh, right. I'm good then. Yeah, both of y'all got some fucking <laughs> I got noses fucking on y'all. But <laughs> <laughs> I got that Guinness schnoz. So I got that that plantain on my nose. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, from what I, this one doesn't say the length. I saw it on another one, but from the, let me close this. So from the base of your nose right here to the end of it, if it's longer than 1.75 inches, sorry, 2.75 inches. Fucking you got like a minimum, at least 5.3 inches on you soft. Oh, yeah. On average. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, like seven and a half. I'm like, God oh, damn. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when, once he said, but he let off with five, I was like, <laughs> well, I'm, I was just, like whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm just still waiting for my <laughs> big boy. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my big boy penis to come in. But uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll grow up one of these one days, day guys. You'll grow, a, you'll grow into your nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That might Yo, be so, so Pinocchio probably has like a like a twenty seven inch hog, just a fucking yeah. splinter. Hey, he is a giant. He is just a, a, he is, he's that's a right. Guinea, he's, he's a, a real guinea though. bastard. Just <laughs> a, Pinocchio's got um, a fucking giant fucking just, nose that comes a, out to here. So does everybody in my family. It's a splintered up oh, wop cock. Grandfather's cock. <laughs> Actually, a, a splintered wop cock. That might be the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, my fucking Wouldn't. grandfather used to wear like the tightest fucking bathing suits when we were kids, and he just had this massive fucking bulge in his goddamn swim trunk. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you had that, you'd be fucking showing it off too, right? Fucking. <laughs> Dude. Uh, and he was married and everything, but back then it didn't matter. You know, the wife still stayed with you, and he would just <laughs> yeah. cheat on my grandmother constantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know why? Your grandmother didn't have Instagram, bro. If your grandmother would have had an exactly. Instagram, it would have been a wrap. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Eddie, who the fuck is it this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> women, women I, you know what? I support that rule. 
I support yeah, that. Unless, rule. unless they're willing to show titties and ass. That's it. Unless that's yeah. Instagram. Not <laughs> don't get over Instagram. So if if you okay. only Instagram whores, no more self fucking preservation <laughs> speeches. Like you have to cut out the people you hate because your life yeah. has to exist. It's all about yeah. you. Self. Yeah, AOC. No Instagram. Greta Thunberg. No, no Instagram. AOC like, can get it, bro. AOC can get yeah. it. Bro. Unless, listen, if she's gonna talk, no social media. Yeah. She's going to post first picks. Let it run free. Just go for it. I always the wonder, there's got to be pictures out there of her naked that somebody has on their phone. Oh. She was in Boston College, man. Come on. She had them. Yeah, she had they them. Probably, <clears throat> she's probably paid to get those. Yeah, let's say she either had them killed or fucking, you know, they, they've been, that phone has been bought. But there is that photo of her when she was a bartender and she was doing like bikini bartending and shit. It's pretty fucking solid. What? So it's, I never saw that photo. It's worth a goog. I got you. Can you please oh, pull that up? <laughs> Let's go. She like, if I ever want her like, to tits. meet her, I would get a t-shirt made with that picture and be like, listen, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm a fan of your work. Everything you do. This is very, this is not, this is how you would get your message across a lot better <laughs> if you dress like this more. <laughs> uh, bikini. You want my vote? You want my vote? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, I care about the environment. All of a sudden, I'm gonna yeah, vote. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't yeah. voted since '04. Does, does she have a boyfriend? Is she is she like married? Does she have a man? Is she like? I have no idea. I don't know. A Hispanic woman like that, like. If she is married she, or she, she has a boyfriend, she's a typical liberal bitch with some weak fucking will. Just man. fucking yeah. Yeah. Talks yeah. about her rights being equal all the time. Yeah, and he's just like, yeah, yeah. He's just agreeing with everything just because he wants to fuck her and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, honey. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Go we'll where you want to go tonight. Yeah. That that's Where'd exactly who, like that's the guy I would be for them, but it wouldn't last more than three months because then I just get tired of that shit. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Too. Yeah, bro. Like, just my bipolar. Dude, it wouldn't like, last. No, no, Get ready to feel like it a would real... last like an hour after you fuck her. You'd be like, "All right, well, I've got enough of this." <laughs> get get ready <laughs> to feel like, feel like a real nah, piece but of with shit. With AOC, she has enough clout where you just like, you know what? I'll fuck with this bitch just so TMC keeps harassing me, and I'll just keep saying like very right wing shit just to make her yeah. look bad. You know what I mean? I'm just saying like everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, Gio, you fucking put, you hit up said. something there. You hit up, like, I always had a fantasy of dating, like, a fucking liberal politician. And, like, I tend to lean right in some of my politics. And I would love for them to, like, date me. And then, like, some video of me on stage comes out talking about how women are retarded yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then he has to defend him. <laughs> well, you know, now jokes jokes are all in context now because she's dating you. Yeah. <laughs> Before, you know, we want to get canceled, but goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just just go, like going to support her with a MAGA hat on and shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do y'all watch UFC at all? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, did y'all watch last weekend? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that that dude from South Africa jumps over the cage and goes to like shake Donald Trump's hand and you know somebody over the fucking like the secret service shit went there's an African coming he's a white guy. He's but he's like South African or whatever. The African's on his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> one of the fucking champions was from Mexico. Trump shook and, his hand hard too, man. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of those guys that doesn't let go. Real fucking weird. Oh, Trump or yeah. the yeah, yeah. He's what? got like a vice grip handshake. It's, oh yeah, it's yeah. some Trump, sort of his handshakes are like for like ten minutes. It's some weird yeah, power yeah, movie. He's, he's constantly pulling you towards him the entire fucking. It's weird. But yeah, uh, yeah. dude, that he did it to Putin. I, I, he almost I, lifted him off his feet when he shook his hand. <laughs> how how tall is Trump? Because I saw I saw a picture with him and Shane Gillis, and they looked about like the same. Like Shane Gillis looked kind of tiny, a little tiny. A little smaller compared to him. Th- he's six three. But Trump must be a fuck. Trump six three. Is he really yeah, that tall? Yeah. yeah. Dude, pull, I had no idea. Pic- you seen the picture with him and Shane? Yeah, look, I saw your I saw your comment made- on it, and it fucking killed me. <laughs> bro, that's fucking amazing, bro. Shane wearing a fucking Versace shirt. 
Like, that's the funniest shit ever. <laughs> that that <laughs> means the guy used to wear shirt. just like polo shirts and like every time I see him, he's just like a dingy polo shirt, just a t-shirt. And now he has all of a sudden he has a Versace it. shirt on <laughs> and he's fucking meeting the fucking president. It, it's got and he's it. probably wearing like Levi jeans, which is a lot. He's yeah. wearing a Versace shirt and Levi jeans with fucking a uh, 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 fucking pocket of dip. Yeah, I mean, there's, the yeah there's, there's dip in his pocket. That's what <laughs> when that's I American, saw right? when I saw Gio's comments on that. Fourteen that's what lights in. that's when I noticed the Bro, dip. I was and I went, so God proud damn. of Shane when I saw that. <laughs> I, I was proud. I was like, yo, he fucking. I'm like, that's. I'm like, he made it, bro. He like, came, I, that is true. I, I've I've heard how much he's like made throughout the like the last couple of years, like blowing up. Yeah. But seeing that picture, I'm like, nah, that motherfucker made it. He came up with y'all, huh? Yeah. Nah, he's way before me. He's a big man. dude. He is. He used to be a fucking what was he? he? Was like a tackle or some bullshit like that when he yeah. played football. Man, what Look at that shit! And this fucking guy looks like a cartoon character, <laughs> bright blue suit and red. Like, <laughs> fucking crazy. He's I, always on the campaign trail, man. I don't yeah. know. I don't know where it's I saw the costume. video, but there's there's a picture of him like hidden behind Trump, and he's making crazy ass faces. It's pretty fucking uh, funny at the same fucking event. I don't know where it was, but yeah, it's, it's like that, Gio that, said though, man. That's how you know you made it. You fucking met a president, and he knows your name for real. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know that. That's even crazy. Like I could meet a president. We all could, right? We could stand in line like a bunch of faggots and do that. But Trump fucking knows this man. That's wild. Yeah, hate him or hate yeah. him or love him. Hate him or love you know? That was great. Yeah, was yeah. Funny. tremendous. Yeah. It was great, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, 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 after that UFC, because I could, I, I haven't laughed so hard as I did on Saturday. My abs hurt on Sunday because there was a the champion that was fighting is from Mexico, and everybody in that house that I was at was just doing Trump impressions about how this Mexican get in here. What the fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just the whole time, just. It was fucking he hilarious. He his country. It's a great country. Country yeah. with nothing, and he has a gold belt. <laughs> How the fuck did he get in here? I built the wall. It's a tremendous wall. <laughs> we should have. We should have finished the wall. This is what happened. Yeah, yeah. Don't finish the wall. How the fuck, I told you guys? <laughs> this is Mexico. So happy ball. the Brazilian one. It's it's an invasion. Yeah. It's an invasion. <laughs> <laughs> Me- Mexico was being cheap. Yeah, was being yeah, cheap. Yeah. I told them to spend the money. They didn't want to spend the money. I told them to spend it. This is their fault. How long? That's how long? Why Trump went to the fight just to see everybody with the Mexican flag, and he's just taking notes. That he's fucking like, yeah, that fucking wrong. dude got a pop bigger than most of the fighters there. It was crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro, dude, it's nuts. I don't vote, so I don't give a fuck. But I do know the yeah. funniest shit ever was when Trump was in office. So fucking, I know that helps y'all's job for sure. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it did. Really. But the thing was, like, there were so many people doing it. Uh, it's okay. like, all right, already. Fucking four or five comics in a row talked about fucking Trump. Shut the fuck up. It's like, yeah. enough. Enough. There's a, there's a comic right now. I don't want to say his name because he's kind of <laughs> like, uh, he's kind of popping. Uh, and he does a Trump impression, but he doesn't fuck Shane do it Gillis. like Shane. Shane, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but he's not doing it like Shane, where it's like Shane saying funny shit. Like he goes on, this kid goes on stage and literally his punchline, he goes like, you, you guys want to see the Trump impression? He goes, China. And he does, he just says China in a Trump impression. No and that's shit. it. That's the joke. Uh, that's God, the punch. Jeez, fuck. Yeah. He's good at impressions, but he doesn't have uh, jokes. I'm, I'm sitting here doing the uh, mental math, trying to figure out who the fuck this is. <laughs> yeah, man. It's crazy, bro. Just look up Matt Friends. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> look at Matt Friends. It's blowing up everywhere, man. Uh, that's, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Fucking I, Matt. Uh-oh, what happened? Where'd he go? He, what happened? He, he touched something. I saw him touch his phone. That wasn't me. <laughs> no, yeah, he, that, he hit something and then the screen, it's like it ended like the Sopranos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know this, this guy, Matt Friends, has some friends out there, man. He, he cut me out. <laughs> he knows that was your people. phone trying to got, save your career. That's Yeah, is, you know, does Howard Stern own this app? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hates podcasts, bro. Yeah. So no, he, he, he's, he's a cunt he, too, he though, like, man. Hey, straight up, I've never oh, heard yeah. of this cat, and I'm fucking... 
I feel like I'm pretty in captured, the, I'm in man. the know. Tuxedo fucking boy. Howard Stern. I never thought I'd see the day where Howard Stern would be the fucking voice of the left telling everybody what not to say. It's like you made your career off of girls coming on a fucking Sibian, you He's, asshole. Dude got weak. Yeah, bro. Th- just, just put on. He needs somebody needs to like tape him to a seat, open his eyelids, and make him watch Private Parts again, and yeah. make him remember where he comes from. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, like all those E episodes that he had. I don't know if y'all heard this. Like, is he still locked up in his fucking house? Yeah, he's still doing his broadcast from his fucking basement. Apparently, he hasn't left since COVID hit. That's what I understand. Uh, uh, he has not left his house in three goddamn years. And Sirius yeah. still signed him for a four hundred ninety-five million dollar contract. Like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Did that many people yeah. listen to fucking satellite radio? No, but, I, but I, he's carrying yeah. that company. That's the all, most of the subscribers are there for him still. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> And his fans are like, well, his fans must be like brain dead to follow that. Because you would think, well, also, I feel like a lot of those guys, like the real ones, fell off and went off to Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then when like Opie and Anthony kind of fell apart, they kind of went to like Jim and Sam or, you know, they, they kind of just like trickled down and then fell into <clears throat> like the Legion of Skanks. Yeah. You yeah. Know, Matt and Shane, like a lot of those older guys that still listen to the stuff have trickled down and just listen to those guys. Now. So like, they're still around. They, they don't listen to Stern anymore. Yeah, Stern has to be all old people now. Yeah. Gotta I don't know be. what he is, man. He tried to appeal to an audience, and I think it kind of worked to an extent. Uh, he appealed to an audience that never listened to him in the first place. Who's, who's like getting, shot, like who's getting shot in the background? No, those are fireworks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, God damn, Gio. <laughs> blasted them off over here. Let's <laughs> just start a fucking Patreon for you to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah. Yeah. I, dude, I haven't listened to Stern since, dog. That E show, like you said a second ago, that fucking yeah. E show, that's the last time. And that was basically me being 13. Like, I could probably jerk off to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. The blurred out tits and the pussies and fucking yeah. that show, when that would come on when you were a teenager, you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is amazing. Dude. Sure. Right. It's it's Fred Durst and some hot model getting naked. Fuck it. We'll, we'll jerk off to this. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah and exactly. that you switch between that and Spice that was fucking blurred out on your fucking phone. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> I, got, I got busted. I had the box, man. Oh, you had it? Oh, you get the I box, wish I had that. All the channels, yeah. man. You you were my Fucking you were the friend hell. I always yeah, wanted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we I come to your house and jerk? Channel, we had the Playboy, <laughs> the five uh, pay per view channels, HBO, Showtime. It was just loaded. Hundred. Oh, it was like a hundred channels. Damn. Yeah, you were the friend I always wanted. I'd be like, can I come over and jerk off, dude? Fucking something. <laughs> Anything. You know? <laughs> Is your family home right now? I hope not. <laughs> yeah. I got busted watching the blurry thing. channel. It was bad. And my mom's like, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just seeing what this was. <laughs> and then it gets fucking, and then it gets like completely clear as soon as yeah, your mom walks in. Yeah. yeah, for that split second, yeah. you just see a perfect tit. Like, ah, is, that. It, is that a tit yeah. or a dog's nose? I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> just, that, that would happen. That would happen every time. Oh, hold on. Turn it back on. That would happen every time, uh, like, uh, you'd buy the box, and after a couple months, like, you know, the last probably, like, you know, close to a year, but then, like, the signal would get jammed, all those channels would get fucked up again, and then you'd have to buy a new <laughs> box. buy a new one. So it's like the cable guys <laughs> fucking up the box so you could buy another box off of them again. I, I remember I remember somebody told me, like, you tip the cable guy when he hooks it up, he'll fucking hook you up and all that shit. Yeah. yeah, that per- that's bullshit, dude. Just took my money. <laughs> <Fuck yeah. laughs> yeah, it's like cocksucker. Oh, Fuck it. it's all digital now, so it's yeah. hard for them to do it. It's fu- yeah. like you need one of those like master cards, but then they took the cards yeah. away now, and it- now it's all those boxes where it's all like internalized and shit. Yeah, dude, I don't even have cable so unless anymore. you got like a code. Yeah, you, you need, need an like Asian an cable guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that could crack that shit mm-hmm. for you good. Yeah, yeah you need some. <laughs> God damn! He went black. Shut off again. He went blackface again. What happened? Nah, that was my alarm. I had the <laughs> oh, alarm go off. Okay. Oh. 
Ah, shit. I just realized I just put it on snooze, so it's going to go off again in like eight minutes. So, wait, are, we, are, we, are we supposed to take another drink at that time? I forgot. I lost track. Yeah, let's just wait. take a swig while we wait. Yeah, fuck it. I got one tranny beer left. We're drinking tranny beer. Fuck it. All right, let's talk about these dirty Russians. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, man, I, I want to figure out what I want to talk about here. Do you see that crazy bitch on the flight talking about an invisible person? No. Yeah. This is wild. This is wild. What do you, no, I want to? I want to know what y'all would now. do on this fucking flight. Can y'all hear it? Say what? Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two fucks. But I am telling you right now, that motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can fucking die with them or not. I'm not going to. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Did they ever explain what she was pointing at? No. Did anybody like? No, it's just, by the way, oh, I definitely would. FYI. Oh, just, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but. That crazy bitch I can get it. I my invisible dick right inside <laughs> yeah, of her. Just give her a hot Cosby. Um, <laughs> fucking just. I, I think I get off that flight. Yo. That would fuck me up, I think. Yeah, she's talking about some invisible fucking guy that's not there, but we didn't even see. She said <laughs> that motherfucker right there isn't real. What? Who is she talking about? Maybe, maybe we couldn't see it either, dog. Oh. Jesus fuck. Oh, nah, those, nah. those are the girls. Those are the girls I end up with. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> we all do. Yeah, <laughs> she's these invisible men. Not real. <laughs> yeah. She's talking about me the whole time. She's just mad at me, but she's just so crazy. She doesn't know how to use English language. This right, exactly. Is not real. That's what she meant because her boyfriend was being an asshole on the flight. She's like, "That is not my boyfriend." Okay, that's not the man I fell in love with. Okay, guys. So different Hold on, guys. We got an update. We got an update. Hold on. I didn't know about this. Those tits were real. <laughs> Please tell me this is her OnlyFans. Carrot Top was on the flight. Hi, everyone. I uh, oh. just want to let you know I made That's it home. Uh, <laughs> I'm in my like bed. Buffalo this Bob will be like Bill. laying next to me in my bed. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Mm. Um, yeah, I give uh, my hats off to everyone at American Airlines uh, today for ha how they handled the situation. That fucking nut job just lost <laughs> her mind in front of the whole plane. And uh, five hours later, uh, we're a real Quibo, huh? We're here in yeah, Orlando. Well, what is he now? A trans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to watch that oh. shit, but fuck it. Yeah, it said Karatov was apparently on the same flight. Is the video right under the one we just watched? Yeah, look at that. That's wild. Dude, what the fuck is going on with Karatov now? He's starting to look like the fucking Buffalo Bill in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, he looks like Steven Tyler from fucking Aerosmith right now. What's he, yeah, look, what's he what looking like these days? What's he looking like these days? <laughs> yeah, the Mad Hatter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, that, that he don't look like surgery. that no more. He did at one point. Yeah, plastic surgery and steroids. Look at the one with Rogan. Holy shit. Yeah, he was he was a fucking big old boy. He got tired he's of people bullying him. Prick. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get all jacked up. I mean, dude, if I had the money what and the, the time, fuck? fucking I'm down. I'd do yeah. all that shit. Look at Chappelle. Dude, Chappelle remember was, when he like was jacked? Now he's all jacked up. Remember when he was like super jacked and he had a tiny head? Yeah. That shit was weird. Yeah. I forget what special it was. It and was I was like, God damn. Yeah. It's and he funny. had like a tight ass long sleeve shirt on just to show off his muscles. Um, whatever it's, happened to crack? Yeah, he got Chappelle. fucking. When you have like fucking $50 million in the bank and you're not doing stand up night after night anymore, <laughs> what are you going to do? Steroids and lift weights. That's up. it. 
just just uh, secretly want to have sex with transvestites. That's that's it. Yeah, that's follow, all we want to do exactly. Now. <laughs> follow, following in Eddie's footsteps, dude. Forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what does a man with everything want? Chicks with a dig, dude. A chick with a cock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's an oversized clit. It's cool. Look it's at, cool. Yeah. Look at Diddy. Diddy fucking, like, it's just all these rich guys. Do Wait, Diddy got busted? No. No. Oh, Diddy, Diddy's been on the radar for years. Now, I've heard the rumors, but is there, any, is there anything to back it up? I mean. Or any, any evidence of him backing it up, I should say? <laughs> I mean, he, I don't know. But <laughs> Diddy, the thing is, I feel like he has enough money to kind of get it swept under the rug, and he has a, enough NDAs and like all these cease and desist. Because I remember on a Jamie Foxx radio show, that girl Superhead. All right, Stephanie, remember Super? Yeah, Stephanie. Superhead was uh, legit. Yeah, Superhead. <laughs> so she was on Jamie Foxx um, series show, uh, The Foxhole, and they, they it got brought up, and out of nowhere, she goes like, "Oh, I can't talk about that. There's a cease and desist. I can't mention that anymore." And they're like, whoa, wow. what are you trying to say? They're like, <clears throat> and then she goes like, all I'm going to say is, she goes like, the landscaper is gay, the housekeeper is gay, the cook is gay, <laughs> the, the security is gay. She's like, I walked in there one time. He was wearing, he was just in his boxers in his room and Bentley Fonsworth was in there. And I was just like, yeah. I haven't thought of Bentley Fonsworth in a goddamn minute. He made his yeah, butler a celebrity. Him. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you look at that dude. Any man that would want to hold an umbrella for another man? Yeah, that's kind of gay. It, Just it, well, a man like using an umbrella is a little gay. It, well, now another dude's holding one for you? The optics are weird, but the optics are even weirder if I were to have a black dude hold an umbrella for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it'd be real fucked yeah. up. <laughs> you know, yeah. not, not even not even a guy in a suit. It's just a guy in like overalls and a Bucky T-shirt, like holding an umbrella. His, his name is Fiat. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't want yeah. you to get wet, Mister Burley. Yeah, yeah. We call this, we call this Mini Cooper over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, we got we got a little bit of time left, and this at this uh. I didn't, I didn't have the stories I wanted to talk about. This fucking works, though. This has been a great goddamn show. But Rage and Pillage podcast, dude, we ask the guest, Rage meaning party, Pillage meaning stealing. What's your favorite? Let's start. We'll go round table with Geo. Fucking, what's your favorite party story that can't get you in trouble today, bro? Oh, uh, all right. Um, this, this was a party that ended up into a brawl where, like, half the people ended up in the pool. Oh, yeah. In the wintertime. <laughs> And um, uh, we got there. This is like this is like probably like like five minutes from where I'm at right now. And uh, we're all there. This is a house we've been at for a while. And the girl who lived there started dating this guy, and he's there with all his boys. And you know, I, I remember showing up to the party extra late. I was kind of more sober than everybody else. And uh, I see my cousin getting into an argument with this dude, and I'm kind of like late on what's going on. And one of my other cousins like, yo, he was dancing with his, with, with his girlfriend and now he's getting all like sensitive about it. <laughs> ah, shit. And they were they were in the backyard talking. So when I saw that, I went to go outside and uh, it was my cousin with two of the dudes. Like, and he's just by himself with two dudes and they're talking about this. So I go to open the slide door and one of the guys holds the door open. And I, he holds it shut. Like, he won't let me get out. Oh, shit. So I remember at that point, I'm like, oh, you know, my instinct is like, yo, uh, I don't like this. Game on. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking alarm. The alarm is off. Is there any minutes? Yeah, is there any minutes? So, <laughs> so, so uh, like, as soon as I saw him, like, shove the door closed for me just trying to open it, I just, like, just, just yanked the door, the slide door open, and the dude, like, Rushes inside the house and the, his girlfriend, like the, the, the girl who lives there, is standing next to me. And he like runs up on her and like grabs her face. <clears throat> and this is, I'm just like looking. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? And then I go out like while I'm going outside, like all, like this whole tussle just starts. And uh, it just kind of like escalated quick. And once I saw it just kind of turn into a brawl, I remember just 
running off because like uh, the guy that rushed in, yeah, like I came outside and he tried to grab me. So me and him start swinging on each other. But like so many people coming out that are like with us and with them that like, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I run over to like this tiki bar on the side and I found a, 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 a wine opener, like a corkscrew oh, no. wine he opener. Went... <laughs> God damn, dog. <laughs> I, just grabbed, I just grabbed that shit and I go run towards like the, the dude that was swinging on me because he like ran away. And all of a sudden, I see my younger cousin. You know, he's probably like 17. He's, he's big for his age. Yeah. But I see him just get pulled back and him and the dude fall into the pool on top of the tarp. Oh, oh no. Wait, so it's going to yeah. do a... It's going to do a wraparound situation. Yeah, well, it, it was yeah. the one that was had kind of... Yeah, it was kind of coming down a little bit. Okay. And, uh, and then another dude fell in behind him. And then I'm like kind of running to the side now. I, I don't know. Like, this is like bits and pieces that I can remember <laughs> that I just remember running over and then I saw my cousin's older brother like knock out some dude like just one punch he's like a big he's a, he looks like your size and oh, then he shit. just knocks him out one punch boom no oh, shit and then um, I'm still running behind the guy that hit me and we get around the pool and then uh, he was he was actually running behind uh, one of my cousins that I was with and then, like, they start squaring up. So I ran up behind them and I start hitting them with the corkscrew in the back. God <laughs> the <head>. damn. <laughs> Wait, in the head? And then, out of. Yeah. Motherfucker, dude. Face. You went full Dahmer. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, th- these were big dudes. And I was, I was tiny compared to them. <laughs> so uh, while that's going on, I just feel somebody yank me. And while this, I'm, I'm, like, I'm holding the dude by his shoulder. And then all of a sudden, I feel like. I'm in the pool. So both of us, all three of us fell in the pool and I'm with these two dudes that are like freaking like both of them are twice my size. One of them is like three times my size. Like <laughs> One of the guys is like this big jacked. Yeah. And I remember just like trying to get to the side of the pool and like the tarp is like weighing me down. And I remember just grabbing on the side of the pool and the big guy is like coming up from the water and I just start hitting him with the corkscrew, but it's broken. <laughs> It, it broke God off. God damn. The <laughs> so it's, it's in the it's guy's hitting neck. With like this little metal nub, but it's like, I could see like, like where I'm hitting him and like little, like it's Just like hitting punctures. little pokes, like little yeah. streams of water yeah. coming down because he's like, and, and then he's like yanking me down and I see the other guy like jumping out of the pool and then I run up, like we, we get out the pool again. The big dude runs away from me at that point. He's just like, oh, he's, he's Back away. Fuck all this noise. Yeah. And then I square up with the other guy. And it's funny because like I'm fighting with the corkscrew in my hand and we're just squaring up the whole time and I'm hitting him. And it's not even doing anything to him at this point. <laughs> this is the Puerto Rican guy. Oh, the yeah. Boy, well, the big they don't feel white pain. dude ran. Yeah, the Puerto Ricans the don't Puerto feel Rican pain. Dude, he's yeah. just going. Yeah, he just, yeah, he'll you know stay what I mean? In the each other up. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, uh, I remember out of nowhere, some dude, I had no idea who he was, just comes out of nowhere and just rocks him. <clears throat> Boom. Like, I'm expecting one of my cousins to jump in. But this guy, I had no idea who he was. I found out later it was one of the girl's cousins. Oh, ah, shit. So, so I'm like, Yo, this dude kind of saved me right now because he was like, <laughs> the dude was kind of like wearing me out a little bit. <laughs> and he comes and he's like, he's like a short, stocky, muscly dude, muscle dude. So he just rocks him. Boom. And next thing I know, I'm just jumping this guy with a stranger, just like hitting him <laughs> on the side of the fence. Just be my friend. Then, be like, my friend. <laughs> yeah. And then like the guy, the guys like scream, like the, the Puerto Rican dudes like scream, like, oh yo, chill, chill, I got you, you got this stuff. So then all of a sudden I'm like thinking about my cousin who fell in the pool again. So I, I like rush over and I see him like on the side, like away from the fight, like drenched. His clothes are like <laughs> banging and bang. He's like out of breath. He's like <gasps> He's like the youngest one, but he's just like tall for his age. And, Scrappy. And like he's all shaken up. So I like, I see him, I run over to him. And I'm like, yo, you good? Everything's all right. And, but like, think, like it's still like chaos around. But again, I don't know who's who besides like my, my four cousins that are there. And then I just went into like savage mode. I just remember running into the kitchen and grabbing a knife. I'm like, yo, fuck this shit. <laughs> and then as soon as I did that, everybody in the party just grabbed me. And I'm just standing there with like five hands holding my hand like this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> in my I'm head, like, I was like, drum, Mike, you try to drown, Mike. 
in my head, I'm like, I found another corkscrew. I was waiting to hear that shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. I was this like, time was the ice break. pick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went full ice pick on but you. Thank yeah. God those. Thank God those five Italian women overpowered me. Because if not, I'd probably have like a assault with a death weapon charge. Yeah, but those Sicilian and, bitches are strong. <laughs> <laughs> they come from good yeah, stock. I just, them, was, I just saw ten hairy <laughs> arms holding that. <laughs> those are armenians dude uh, <laughs> like oh we're used to we're used to violent men trying to stab somebody we yeah. got this. this is just a we, tuesday for us when we don't make it a source <laughs> 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 yeah. fuck yeah that's goddamn solid like, we know we know how to we know how to handle a knife wielding maniac <laughs> yeah we've dealt with this before it's just like my cousin it's just like my friend anthony it's like this yeah this is like every sunday dinner at grandma's yeah. <laughs> we start off nice and then all of a sudden somebody's throwing fisticuffs <laughs> who's yeah, hungry for ziti every, every subway, yeah. every subway yeah, yeah. series it's <laughs> the family with this fucking knife fight <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was fucking solid same question yeah, to you doug that. same question to you doug what do you got that can't get you in trouble today F- favorite party story bro um i'll see if i can knock out two real quick because there's two that stick in my head one of them i was at a halloween party in uh in new jersey there and this girl lived on uh she lived on a river she was like a hillbilly chick but she was fucking hot like some of those hillbilly whores are, are good looking girls right blonde hair blue eyed little pot belly but that pot belly makes her so I feel like you're we just were, I feel like uh, you're describing me right now. You still got me? Yeah. I feel like you're describing me right now. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> So it's a Halloween party, so we're all dressed like assholes, right? Every single yeah. one of us. We're all dressed like fuck. And my friend actually both of these stories involved the same fucking girl that my friend was going after. It was this fucking girl, Chelsea. Both of these fucking stories almost get us fucking beat up for so it's me, a group of my friends, and then, um, like, the, this girl and her friends. And my friend was fucking around with this girl who had a boyfriend. And um, we're all at this party together. And my friend starts talking to this girl, Chelsea, which this is the fucking girl. So they start talking or whatever. And then this other kid, his last name was Perna. That's all I remember. So he's talking to the girl, and he was, like, obsessed with her. And when I say obsessed with her, I mean, like, he would stalk her. He would, like, wait for her outside of work and shit like that. He would cry over her all the fucking time. So she shows up at this party. We're all there. And he starts talking to this girl. He's talking to the girl. This fucking kid, Perna, shows up, and he's, like, 6'5", 225 pounds, typical Jersey Shore, roided-up fucking mongoloid, right? (laughs) So they start... He starts talking to this fucking girl. He starts talking to this girl. This guy fucking shows up. My friend finds out that he's outside. He goes up to this fucking dude, no thought at all, and just pushes him up against the fucking car. Now, this guy just shows up at the party. The <laughs> thing is, when a dude just shows up at the fucking party and he's getting out of a car, he's not the only one in the fucking car. <laughs> all right? So, right there, he pushes him, and I'm like, ah, fuck, right? I'm like, shit. And then, like, the guy's like... He looks shocked. He's like, why did this fucking strange asshole just push me? Like, what, what the fuck? I'm, I'm imagining a lot of hair. I don't even know. I'm imagining a lot of hair gel and more buttons unbuttoned than actually oh, buttoned. Dude, hair yeah. gel, button downs, fucking yeah. blowout haircuts, steroids, yeah. cocaine. Fruit after yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Big gold chains with crosses that our grandmothers gave us for our communion. You know, typical fucking Italians from fucking New Jersey, right? <laughs> So he's looking at you him. He's like, oh, your, house, this your fucking- parents are like, you got a black guy and you smell like aftershave. Are you <laughs> yeah, white? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All typical fucking Italians. We all smell like garlic once yeah. the fight starts happening, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we fucking- yeah, hold this prosciutto so this over your be- eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hold the frozen meat. I just took this off my wife's eye. Now it's yours. Yeah, <laughs> take this. It's a little thought out. Go get another one out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my your black eyes from two days ago. You should be better now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. You don't Get need over this it. Yeah. The whole time. Like, you want just... another one? You yeah, fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he's trying to figure out why this asshole just pushed him. Then my friend Dan just goes, I fucked Chelsea. And as soon as he fucking lets those words out, 
this kid Perna's eyes light up, and he was obsessed with this fucking bitch too. Now again, <laughs> you don't push your guy who just gets out of a car, who just shows up at the party, because you don't know how many people are with him. So yeah. I'm like, fuck. Three of his friends get out of the car, and we just think, all right, it's two of us versus three of these guys. Our other friends are half a fag, so they're back inside, <laughs> like not wanted to fight at all. They were fucking twats. So we start fighting with these fucking three guys, dude. Four more cars pull up. Jesus and Christ. And they're all filled with this guy's fucking friends. All right. <laughs> so now it's fucking, it's like 20 of them versus two of us. We're not going to fight. Uh-huh. We start like backing up slowly, like fucking like, what do we do? We see a fence at the end of this cul-de-sac. This dude, I'll never forget this dude. His nickname was Bald Rob because he had alopecia. <laughs> so he looked funny. Like, he, he, he was a ballsy little bastard, too. I got to So we're backing up. This guy, Bald Rob, gets a little too close to me. I grab him by his throat and I throw him over, a hood of a, over the hood of a car. And because he had no hair, he just slid right across the car. It was fine. He, just, like, he slid right. Yeah. <laughs> dude. 20 guys come fucking rushing us. We jump over the fence and we start crossing the Passaic River. Again, this is <laughs> Halloween. So we start crossing the fucking Passaic River Just, to get away from 20 guys. We end up in a fucking movie theater parking just, lot. I just, just, I just imagine it. Imagine an onlooker seeing uh, Godzilla and Ronald McDonald and fucking whoever crossing the goddamn river is y'all are all in costume. Fucking just, just <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that same girl, right? So that's that story. The next story is we're at a again. It, it was another fucking Halloween party. I, I don't remember if this happened within the same time or was it two years apart. We're at again another shithole fucking Jersey club again hair gel all this bullshit fucking <laughs> Halloween everybody wants to dress up as a 1920s gangster or whatever. No, we yeah, got, exactly. we got to we got to get a we got to get a picture of you with hair, bro. I ain't seen it. I gotta get. I'll send you one. I'll All send right. you my fucking Guido days. I'll Hell get yeah! Hell yeah! Uber fucking Guinea bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Who wanted <laughs> cologne? Aqua D G O C K one like fucking. Yeah. <laughs> You, was so all, you only had like fucking, three binds on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The rest of them just had chest hair hanging out again with the crosses <laughs> and shit. Even in our Halloween costume, we still had to show the crosses yeah, like in between our fucking. This <laughs> is this is Saint Christopher, motherfucker. Fucking just <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the Power so, Rangers with a bunch of Jesus crosses. <laughs> <laughs> with our powers combined, yeah. <laughs> and the hair sticking out of the helmet and shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see the spike <laughs> with the Ginzo bulge and shit. Like, <laughs> the only Halloween party that was potluck, fucking ZD and fucking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Everybody had money got and fucking. Yeah. The gabagool. Yeah, gabagool and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So again, this story, this story, I'll just shorten it up. So I'm, I'm, I'm fucking dancing with this bitch the best I could on the fucking dance floor. Who happened to be a motocross girl, so she's in great shape. Her face was hideous, but her body was fucking fantastic. Ended up fucking her like a few months after. But anyway, <laughs> I'm talking to her and my friend, Chris, my friend Chris, and again, my friend Dan goes up to this girl Chelsea again, and they start arguing in the middle of the club, and she pushes him right. All of a sudden, like, it happened in slow motion. She pushes him. I see his hand, like, come all the way back like this. She put, and just go, wham, and smack this girl right across the fucking face in the middle of the bar. She deserved it. She starts fucking screaming and yelling. Yeah, she, she pushed him. She hit him. And then I think he just had enough, and he smacked her. The bouncers are grabbing all of us. <laughs> they grab it off. They grab me by the and like they're giant fucking juice heads. So they grab me by the hem of my neck and just lift me up off my feet like a Rottweiler puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and they throw us out of the fucking bar. <laughs> they grabbed him by his gold chain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Say, heel, Those Doug, heel. Didn't break. Those were real gold. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold like on one sec. Let me see Lincoln. if I had that gold chain. Hang on, hold on. Oh, I think I got yeah. it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hey, while Doug's <laughs> while Doug's out, dude, hit, hit us with your plugs real quick, dude. Where can people where can people find you? Where can they hear you? you got any shows oh, coming um, up? Um, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, uh, Gio Perez eighty six. Oh, yeah. 
Also follow on the gate <laughs> uh, podcast. One word. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube. Our YouTube. You got the full episodes there. I got I got the clips on my sh- uh, on my page. I got the full episodes on YouTube. Uh, if if you like the YouTube and you fuck with it, there's also a Patreon. We have a three dollar tier, which is general support, and then we have a five dollar tier where uh, you get an extra episode a month. I mean, sorry, you get four extra episodes a month. And uh, my next show at the stand will be 23 and 1. Sorry, hold on. I should have had this up earlier. Are you good, man? I, I meant to do it earlier and I skipped to the questions. So. <laughs> nah, you good. You good. Let's see. All right. Hey, I, I think I'm going to just guess <laughs> it. I think it. All right. So July 25th at 9 o'clock. Uh, come to my show at 23 and 1. I'm there throughout the month hosting, but um, this show, I really want you guys to come. If you're watching this and you're in New York City, come out to the stand. It's on. It's in Union Square. If you're out there, uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, if you use promo code BAIL, B-A-L, wait, sorry, B-A-I-L, uh, you get 50% off, and uh, it looks good on my part. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to make uh, sure I'm gonna make sure to subscribe. release this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and also subscribe to my OnlyFans at Poppy Choppy Cheese. Um, and that'll help me out. All right. Well, I know what I'm doing after this. Um, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's a joke I usually say on stage. I thought I'd get a laugh from you guys. No. Oh, oh I, I, well, just, uh, I had I had an OnlyFans, <laughs> and it was just pictures of ceiling fans, and they took it down. It was a hack joke, but it was what? pretty funny for the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. Yeah. Hey, uh, like, with you, the, you better throw some titties. Listen, dude, these, these are mine only, bro. Come on. You got to pay, you got to pay high dollar for that. That's the $50 Patreon tier, bro. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see some titties? You got to pay like titties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to see my titties? They have a lot of crumbs in them. Still. Yeah. It's just, I got yeah. a ham sandwich under this one. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, Doug, what's your Mr. T starter kit? Where can people find you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Oh, Yo, you got the chain. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, okay. How often <laughs> do you it. wear it? I haven't worn this thing. What's that? I was about to say, how often do you oh, wear it? I don't it? wear it no more. No. That's what I was like. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm fucking Italian. You know what I want to tell everybody? But you can just tell by the way I talk. You don't need the gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then he like shitty Jersey accent. run by the shoes. Oh, and he's like, Yo, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, we should, whoa, we should whoa, hide whoa. this fellow away real quick. <laughs> Shut up, yeah. show home, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They always told me you reach for the stars of David in this business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to change my name to G- uh, George Perestein. Perestein. Yeah, you got to throw a Steen at the end. George Perestein. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. How can people find you? And we're petitioning to get your podcast uh, back on, bro. You got to fucking do it. It was a great show. Beautiful. Shot. I got to fucking do it again. Uh, find me at on Instagram at the Doug Urim. I'm over there. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, too. I'll actually be with Gio on a show in Connecticut on the 14th of July, which is, yeah, this Friday. It's Friday. And now, then, if you're um, watching live, yes, there sir. actually is Connecticut people here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, get your asses down there. It's going to be a fun show. Uh, it's run by fucking Aisha May. She's a good chick. Uh, hey, she was just on She Connecticut. was just on two weeks ago. She's fucking cool. Yeah. Shout out to Aisha. Yeah, she's That's great. She's right. Shout out to Aisha. And yeah, I'm sorry I, I mispronounced your name about 20 goddamn times on the show. So <laughs> yeah, She gets mad. She's like, it's Aisha. It's like, oh, whatever. I, yeah, it's Aisha. Aisha. Yeah, yeah. It's Aisha. <laughs> like, I call her May. Yeah, I'm just she, like, she corrected me one time and she corrected me one time yeah, and she was letters. just nice the rest of the time. <laughs> <It's> yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. Jesus so find Christ. me over there. I'll put a, I got a bunch of dates coming up. Um, be at the fucking, uh, be at the pear a bunch. I'll be at the land. That's a bunch the grizzly month. pear. Uh, That's the one I see everybody at grizzly pear. I see everybody. at. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come out there. Yeah, you can see me at the- the- I'm there every Thursday. Hell yeah. You can see me at the Grizzly Pear open mic <laughs> Thursday nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can see me at the stand, but you can also see me at the Grizzly Pear open mic, too. I ain't shit yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all choose this one. 
Normally we do the pillage. Uh, is it possible? I'm sorry, I gotta cut it short, but I gotta head to this fucking Get the spot fuck out now. of here. Uh, Get the fuck out of here, bro. All right, guys. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Do what you gotta you do. You know what? Let's just wrap it now. Fuck it. It's been an hour and a half. I hope, hey, dude, thank y'all. Thank y'all for fucking coming on. It's been a Yo. goddamn blast. I hope this isn't the last time, Doug. I hope this isn't your last time. No, We're looking for not. number three. Geo, thank you so much. I hope to have you again, Yo, dude. Appreciate you, man. Check these guys out, everybody. They're fucking hilarious. Uh, anytime you're in NYC, Jersey area, and Connecticut, apparently, fucking check them out. Um, yeah, everybody. See y'all next Tuesday. Thank you, guys. Hey. Take care. Later. And if you don't know, now you know, dude.